Hey devs and designers, welcome to the new video. In this video I will talk about why Unreal Engine 5 is better than other game engines, but from a different perspective than other videos. If you're ready, let's dive into it. Okay, so I prepared a list of answers why UF5 is better. If you could sit in a bar and drink our moonshines, yes, moonshine, I stayed in Tennessee for a while. I could talk about it maybe for like six hours, but I need to explain faster in this video. So my first answer is easy prototyping. Yeah, I think Unreal Engine is the best engine to make a quick prototype to just to see how things are working. Is it fun? Is it looking good or not? Let's say you want to make a fast, like a third person mechanic so you can check is it fun is it working good or not i think unreal engine is the best solution for that because it offers so much template and the general blueprint system i think it's pretty much easy to understand and made a prototype or if you are a designer and if you want to make something like a level design or if you want to make a cool shot to just check is it looking good or bad all kind of like post-processing cinematics or movie render qq all of those things are working pretty fine and i think it is easy to understand but hard to master but still it is much more easy to work on it and made a quick prototype maybe to show your friends your other colleagues or if you're going to go publishers to show your game how it is working and are they gonna like it or not? I think Unreal Engines offer the best tools to make a prototype because default template of Unreal Engine like first person shooter, third person shooter and for example they even got a template for racing games like cars and there's also a bunch of videos of how car mechanics is working on Unreal Engine so if you want to make a racing game it is pretty much easy to make a quick prototype just adding your 3d car meshes and just tweak a bit and make a little prototype so if you're an indie designer or indie dev and you want to make an not just prototype but maybe you want to make a little game just to see that can you do can you finish a little game and little task or not i think unreal engine offer the best solution for it so for the beginners i think unreal engine is a great start uh, I'm not talking about C++, if you're starting with Blueprint, I think it's also a great for easy prototyping and handle it. But if you don't know anything about programming in general, I think it is maybe great to start with other solutions like C Sharp, because C++ is not that easy to understand, but if you know basic programming and how programming works, you can dive into C++ too and you can combine it with blueprints so which is you have an incredible strong tool you can make every kind of game which is two of those future for AAA devs yeah i'm thinking unreal engine going to be a critical solution for the people who want to work in AAA studios because unreal engines offers lots of things that you need to get hired by AAA studios. For example, Sony just got a deal with that some of the studios will use Unreal Engine and if you check the new games just came out, like lots of those using Unreal Engine 5 and they will continue to use it. Also, the like every kind of aspect of Unreal Engine specifically made by a games that requires some important components that Unreal Engine already have. I mean, yeah, still those studios can make those things in their own game engines on or in Unity too. But Unreal Engine is already offering those kind of things to the studios so they can work faster and better. For example, if you want to work on root motion animations, FFX or cinematics, every kind of thing that Unreal Engine already offering the best thing that can be possible, especially for a game engine that which is free. So if you want to work on AAA studios in the future, let's say you're studying in the game design studies in university or some similar things, maybe you're studying computer programming and you want to work on AAA studios in the future, uh, I think Unreal Engine is a great start for you because if you learn Unreal Engine and if you learn, for example, if you're a programmer, let's say you're learning C++, so you can use Unreal Engine and maybe you can get hired 
by gameplay programmer or tool programmer or any kind of job like that. Can you get hired by gameplay programmer with working Unity? Yes, you can. Or any other game engine? Yes. But I'm still thinking that if you want to get hired by AAA companies and if you want to work on bigger projects, if you go with Unreal Engine and if you learn as much as you can do, it is a great chance to get hired by those companies. Because as I said, for like from my aspect, from my view, I think lots of them going to use Unreal Engine 5 in the future. So if you already know Unreal Engine in that time, uh, it is going to be a so big plus for you to get hired. In the middle of the video, I need to add a little thing. I'm not saying Unreal Engine is best solution for everyone. I'm talking from the virtual production and like filmmaking and more 3D stuff perspective. So let's say if you want to make it like 2D platformer game, real-time strategy game or any kind of like that, I think still Unity or Godot might be the best solution for you. Or if you want to work on mobile game industry, still Unreal Engine might be not the best solution. So you can go with Unity, which is... Uh, the thing that we need to understand, Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot or CryEngine like that, they're all advanced tools that people can use and they all have some point that they're best. In this video, I'm just talking about, I'm thinking Unreal is the best for general, but that doesn't mean Unreal is best for everything. The next one I'm going to talk about is if you want to do something in Unreal Engine, Epic Games is one of the, your biggest supporters. How? Let me explain. Okay, so let's say you want to develop something in Unreal Engine, doesn't matter what it is. So when you go to Unreal Engine Marketplace, Epic Games gives you a free couple of tools and assets in every month that you can add it to your library which is totally free. And I think it's a pretty good thing because the other engines also kinda giving little free stuff but it's not good as much as Unreal Engine. Also, Unreal Engine Online Learning, which is they're giving you so much free tutorial and free courses. And also, there's some courses that are Unreal Engine made it. And they got packages in the marketplace, you can download it. And while you're watching the course, you can also do the same thing in the same projects. So also, I need to mention about Megascans, which is also you can find it in the Unreal Engine marketplace, that they're giving you some pre-made scenes that looking pretty good and they all got made with scanned mesh as a quixel. And finally I should mention about MetaHuman. MetaHuman it's a great tool to make so high polygon characters and you can use that in your games, movies or every kind of projects and they looking perfect. MetaHuman was not a an Epic Games company before but Epic Games purchased them so you can use them for free. Even you can just snap your face movements in your iPhone and you can export them to the Unreal Engine and you can use those face animations in your MetaHuman characters. It is giving incredible flexibility to, for example, filmmakers to make some close shots to the character and take good dialogues with them. Or you can use those metahuman characters is an NPC in your game. This is not a something that any other engine offers. So Unreal Engine and Epic Games in general trying to support the developers as much as they can do. The next one is Unreal Engine 5 is not just a game engine that offers things to game developers. Unreal Engine is also a great tool for architectures, cinematographers, filmmakers or FFX artists or every kind of people who want to make something about 3D. For example, let's say you don't want to make a video game but you want to make a short movie, which is I do sometimes, I'm making little short movies or cinematics in Unreal Engine without using blueprints and it is still offers incredible tools for me. For example, if I want to use ray tracing or path tracing in my scene and when I got set up my old scene, I'm doing the post process, 
lightning, all kind of things in the level, then I'm putting my cameras into the scene, I'm starting to record it, then I'm rendering, I'm rendering in the movie render QQ, and it's looking perfect. Unreal Engine is definitely a great solution for virtual production and cinematography. But this is just my area, so if you want to work on, let's say you're in architecture and you want to make uh, good renders that you already designed, ArcVis is a great solution for architectures too, and I think Epic Games uh, developing a lot of those part of the engine too. Or if you want to make just cool FFX, like, or you just want to make a great animations on the characters without making any game mechanics, it's still working so much fine. Other engines are also offering tools like that, but for example, I started to make cinematics with Unreal Engine as a game engine. I was using other 3D softwares before, and I think I can say Unreal Engine is good as much as those 20 years 3D softwares. I tried uh, Unity Cinematics too, uh, but it was a bit confusing for me to understand and how I will implement those into the scene. Maybe just because I'm not using a lot, I'm not a professional on that, but still I've, I'm thinking that Unreal Engine is offer much easy to understand solution if you just want to start it work on Unreal Engine for any kind of things like video programming, filmmaking, virtual production, architecture or any kind of stuff. So we can say Unreal Engine 5 is not just a game engine, but it's also a pretty advanced and easy to understand tool for the people who is working in different industries. At the final, there's also one thing that I want to mention that some of the other engines might be better for the, based on what you want to do. But for my opinion, if you're if you want to work on much more like a complex game or maybe virtual production or in the movies, I'm still thinking the Unreal Engine is the best solution for you. If you don't like to use it, or let's say if you want to make a, like a 2D platformer game or less complex games or mobile games, Unreal Engine might be not the best solution. So that's why I added from the different perspective because I'm talking a perspective from that as like a I'm I'm much more interested with virtual production, like good cinematics and uh, good looking games. I mean like high definition. So that's why I like to use Unreal Engine. But if you like to work in a different kind of projects, Unity, Godot or any other game engine might be best for you. I'm so curious about what you're thinking and why you decided the game engine you're already using. If you can write a comment down below, we can all discuss together and maybe we can have better results for anyone. So if you liked the video, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm curious about your comments and I'm going to read them all. I'm trying to reply them all. So if you have any idea about it, please don't hesitate to write it. So thanks for watching. Until the next video. See you all. I hope you all doing great work.